The reason we developed the programme was uh, as a result of the ageing workforce to some extent uh, and the, the lack of young people entering into the industry. The format is that we go through a re recruitment process and they will then start a three week induction period. Thereafter they will go on to the workplace for a period of uh, 27 weeks uh, under, the, uh, under a mentor. The preferable age is 16 onwards. The internship differs from other schemes in that we are encouraging them into the industry, we are providing them with the training that they require that allows them to effectively get on into a placement and start working from day one. Uh, we will also attempt to get a work placement that is in pretty close proximity to where they live, uh, which reduces the problems in terms of the transport. We want them then to see that this is an industry for them. We want to show them the pro progression routes uh, and how they can develop and all of those opportunities of which there are an immense number available to them. So SRUC's role in the internship programme is to provide the certificate of work readiness. I think the training programme is really invaluable to the students themselves. The three weeks at college gives them the time to develop the skills and the knowledge they need, but also gives them a lot of time to make some friends so they have a cohort of people that they're going through this process with. I applied for the internship because I was interested in agriculture and wanted to gain a more hands-on experience. Compared to college, it was you were learning on the job instead of in a classroom, so I preferred that more. I've enjoyed working with the livestock the most, but then I still enjoy everything, every other aspect that I've done. I've recently done an ATV course, which is really handy because most work that I do here is on the quad bike. So if I'm checking sheep or the cattle, I'll be using the quad bike to carry the feed in. At the end of the internship, I'd still like to work in, in agriculture and most likely still on a farm. We're, we're still working with livestock. Uh, well, we volunteered to come a mentor um, because we thought we could offer opportunities to a young person to help them get a start in agriculture. So yeah, it was really to offer somebody who's young, keen, and willing to learn an opportunity to get into the industry. As, as mentors, I think uh, it's fair to say that essentially we're offering that young person guidance within a, a structured uh, scheme which is supported by Ringlink, uh, who offers them training opportunities. I would recommend it. Um, I, th I think you'd have to be careful to make sure you have enough work and arguably varied and interested work for the young person. Applying for the internship because uh, when I was younger I used to like farming so I wanted to carry it on as a career. I like uh, most about the internship. Uh, I liked it here because I used to work here on Saturdays before and I kind of knew the gist of uh, things around the farm, how it worked. Uh, additional training courses I've done uh, is the pesticides. Uh, what appealed to me most about the internship, uh, I went to college three weeks before I started work. Uh, at the end of the internship, I would like to stay in agriculture and uh, I would like to stay here. Well, I think it's a, uh, a programme that uh, warrants support um, and I think as a, um, a, f a member of the farming industry, we need to um, uh, do our bit to, to try and um, develop the, the skills of the, of the next generation coming on. I, I see our role as the mentor uh, primarily providing a safe work environment for the interns to work um, and to provide guidance um, and uh, knowledge transfer to them. Yes, I would recommend the, the scheme uh, to, uh, to fellow farmers. Um, it, it's been really good having a structured uh, training program for um, staff coming through the business. Um, it's provided us with uh, ch challenges which um, uh, have been stimulating, um, make us sit back and think about why we do what we do. I applied for the Ringlink internship because I wanted to do some agricultural I um, heard from it through John at Ringlink. I have enjoyed the internship 
because it's just been something different. I volunteered to become a member partly because we need staff, but it's good to train people and bring people into business at different levels and hopefully you can retain, retain them long term. So it's the first, first step in the ladder for a lot of people. Key benefits to my business is, one, we need staff, we've got livestock to look at. 365 days a year, so we always need staff, so um, we try and retain that staff and train them and take them up to, to our level. I'd recommend other businesses to take, take part, it's a good scheme. They're coming in onto the farm and a lot of the mandatory stuff that the legal necessities are all taken care of. Uh, so it's a really good scheme, it helps the business. Mm -hmm.